Welcome back to the channel, everyone. We're here with another day of Ether Raids. I'm going to just jump right in. Let's see what we get matched up against. Huh. I haven't seen this unit in a minute. I used to actually like despise this unit because I used to use Kanegus as a main carry. And she actually was kind of annoying because she has that dragon effect or beast effect in this. Okay, let's see. So we have an affiliate in the back with a rally. Party bearing. Azura dancers. Wow. I haven't seen either of these. Well, I see a legendary Azura once in a while, but I haven't seen this Azura in a very long time. Then we have a gravity. Interesting, interesting. Huh. Pots are over here. It's not too bad to get. We have armor affecting the school. The range is pretty good, like the threat range. But who can I use? I don't really have a null C unit to use. Can I use I could use a uh, just three dancers. Oh wow. Hmm. I think Lynn just completely obliterates this team pretty easily. I seem to watch out for the dances. There's no restore trap, so there's like turn one. I guess I have like Racing over here, maybe. And then I have like. Uh, I smite Lynn in, essentially. Lynn goes in and kills, dances. Um. Who I kill after that? I can get four kills at most. But I need to make sure that I don't die while doing it, which can be a little bit difficult. Let's see. I need to do one, two, and then. Out here, three dance for no, that doesn't work. Uh, yeah, the traps make it a little bit difficult to actually get four kills. I'm at the get three and then turn off the dancers. But with which three, I guess, is the question. Um, like one, have her come in here, kill, duo out, kill here, and then dance and get away. If I did that. I could turn off Olivia with Mila. There's no dance, and I could probably just clean up after that, I assume. It's probably the fastest way. Uh, is there any other easy way? Ike would have to get in real deep. Uh, Elgard has a lot of traps to stop her. Yeah, I think I can just go with Duo Lin here. Let's jump right into that. Let's set this up correctly so I don't mess it up. <laughs> uh, so Mila needs to be here. Racing over here. Mm. Peony probably over here. How do I smite in? I, I need racing by himself. But if I want to smite in Lynn from here at this angle, then I need her over here. So probably not that. So we'll probably do Lynn here, like this. And then we'll have Mella move over, I guess. If I do that, where does air go to smite from? Hmm. Wait, 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 what if I do this? Okay. There. This. Looping there. That way I can just repo Lin in. Lin's here. Gets smited. Goes in. Racing's here. He dances. Uh, do I need to be afraid of any. Is there some way that they could kill me here? She'll have five damage on her, so she won't heal, I believe, right? She won't have her armor march. I believe that happens afterwards anyway, so it shouldn't matter if Raisin's over here. Uh, should be fine, so I'll just snipe one, I'll go in, snipe two, pull out, snipe here, and then dance and get out. 
And I'll need to clean up the pots also. Okay, this should work. Let's see, we'll move here, pull back here, pull back. Um, start breaking some stuff. Can I do that? If I break that and then go back and dance? Yeah, that should work. Okay, and pull back here, break that. Turn on the settings and then turn. This is unfortunately it's just one of those teams without a duo hero. And without a duo hero and the duo's hindrance, it just makes the map really easy for Lin to kind of just abuse things. Uh, which is kind of sad. Kind of removes some of the, the fun of, not fun, but diversity of ether rates because you really do need a duo hero nowadays. Um, can I do any? I guess I could do this. I don't know if that actually helps or not, but <laughs> we'll do that. Okay. And then maybe that'll help us get the pot in a little bit. Okay, and then we'll go in. I probably didn't even need to wait for Bolt Tower now that I think about it. Lin probably just destroys all these units pretty easily. Oh, I needed to wait for that. Never mind. For the turn off the armor boots. Okay, we'll reap it. We'll smite. We'll get the kill on Elise. We'll get the dance off with Erase and. Yeah, over here. Oh, she has guidance. Ooh, that's bad. Wait, no, no, no. She should move first because she doesn't have a position. That that could have been bad. She should move first. Okay, and then I need to go in. I'll kill there. What about her though? She moves second. Mmm, where can she move to? Oh, I messed up. Wait, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. <laughs> Forgot about the duo skill. Uh, okay. I'm gonna kill there. Okay. Then we'll dance here. It's a good thing about... Oh, no. Wait, I can't get her out. Hmm... Will P and E be okay? So she should move first. She won't have armor boots, so she'll just move up one. She can't dance. Uh, so if she moves here, that's fine. Moves there, that's fine. Um, we'll just pull race now, I guess. And then she should move over here. So we'll do this to turn off. Yep, okay. Now we gotta figure out how to get pots. Okay, I think if we just remove everybody, pretty much. Except for, we'll leave Ophelia alive. figure out how to get to that last pot real quick. We can break that. We can break this. And put that there. And there we go. That should be easy. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Then we can just break this. <laughs> this peony kills Ophelia. Okay, we're gonna do it with that because it's not very often you get to see peony uh, kill some units. So why not? In the moon bow in okay the quick match today let's jump right into the defense results we'll get a chance to see if those uh that change i made with lynn actually paid off oh yeah there we go success no units killed success interesting does that mean they just surrendered like immediately Let's see, let's see. Okay, so we got a peony, 
a Hector, Brave Hector plus 10. Odd. Why do they stop even res wave? That's interesting. No, no far saves, which that's fine. It's hard to get. Plus 10 Dune. Wow. Plus 1 air and a plus 7 Milla. Wow. Hmm. Okay, let's see what they do. Okay, they're just double baiting here. Oh! Okay, we need to move Sigurd. Um, or Legendary Sigurd. Sigurd rallied in place. I forgot about that. So, because he rallied in place, the dancer just danced him right there. Ideally, we want him to move up here. So that way he can cause um, himself to go in and get the extra movement. So maybe we need to switch these two? We'll have to, I'll have to think about that. Okay, here comes Nana. Nana's going to come in and she's going to apply a flash to both of them. Okay. Then there's the dance from Triandra. So now she's applying guard to both of them. I'm going to ping Hector. Okay. Here comes Lin. Lin's doing nothing to do. These are some definitely some tanky units. Okay, interesting. So they're gonna try to take out Nana with air. Don't they're not gonna get it though. They're gonna be like, yeah, six short. And now she has Miracle. Ooh, they probably should have done that in the opposite order. Would that have mattered? I think it mattered either way. Oh, and they surrendered. Hmm. So let's see what would have happened. Nana would have just probably went in and killed Peony. There's an air kill, so there's at least two kills there. But that that big tanky wall actually was working pretty well. If they had like far save, they would have been easily won that probably. So I need to make some changes again. Uh, hmm. Yeah, we might have to switch Sigurd around. Okay, well that's gonna be our match for today, and that's our defense result. I'll see you guys all tomorrow again for some more ether raids.